A South Lake Tahoe mother says her son would still be alive today if medical staff at the El Dorado County Jail gave him his HIV medicine. The family is now suing El Dorado County and Well Path Community Care. They say the two parties withheld his medication for months. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias explains. I'm really angry. I think there's some accountability that has to show up here that um, you have to take care of the the inmates, when they're there, you have to listen to them. Leslie Overfield is trying to understand why her son was allegedly never given his HIV medication while at the El Dorado County Jail in Placerville. Nicholas Overfield was arrested at home in February 2022 for failure to appear in court. The underlying case is still unclear. His mother says she told officers he was HIV positive and handed his medication to them. But she noticed something different in Nick during a jail visit weeks later. You can imagine my shock when they wheeled him in, in a wheelchair. He couldn't walk. He couldn't speak. They had to lift him out of the wheelchair and put him in the visitor's area. The 38 year old died of a viral infection about two months later. Leslie's attorney Ty Clark says the death certificate shown here shows he contracted AIDS two months before his death. I believe that Nick was killed by the inadequate medical care of Wellpath and El Dorado County. It, it's simple. He died of, a, of what's called encephalitis. That's an AIDS defining condition. There are certain conditions where if someone, certain viruses, where if someone contracts them well, as an HIV positive individual, they're considered to have full-blown AIDS. Overfield and Clark are suing Wellpath Community Care and El Dorado County. We tried to speak to El Dorado County Sheriff's Office, who told us they did not have a statement. Wellpath also did not respond to our emails for comment. We want from El Dorado County and Wellpath two things. The first is injunctive relief. We need changes in their policies for how they're providing medical care in jail, because it's not really medical care at all, as Nick's case illustrates. They also, they also need to pay for what they've done. They need to take accountability. Clark says they violated the law and they need to pay Nick's two surviving sons and Leslie. She hopes the lawsuit will give some accountability to all jails. That was our Roxanne Elias reporting. The attorney says they are in the process of trying to negotiate an agreement. They also say they are prepared to take it to trial if necessary.